Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough, where we only deploy female soldiers in any mission. Today, we're finally launching an assault on the second chosen base, the chosen Warlock base in uh, Operation Wolf Walker. So, uh, on this team, we're gonna break the best, we're gonna take the best of the best, not break, hopefully. Christina, Sarah, Lena, Jacqueline, Heidi, and Elena. Dragunova. So uh, with that team, let's just go ahead and dive in. And there we go, dropping in through another hole in the roof. The shadow chamber indicates 14 enemies. And there we get our first focus. Okay, people, stay alert and remember why you're here. That thing dies today, no matter what it takes. Detecting a strong energy signature further ahead in the facility. There is no doubt in my mind that it is from the Chosen. Then that's where we need to be. Such bravery. Such steadfast determination. Such arrogance. To step foot in this sacred temple and dare strike down a child of the gods. Your hubris is your downfall. So. 14 enemies, all of them should be, I think, the maximum we can get as an Archon. Everything else is just Advent Troopers and Max. Um, and of course, Mutons. But uh, we'll see about all of that in just a second. You have come far, little humans. Boldly pushing forth into the unknown. If you only knew the truth of this place, you would scurry back to the shadows where you were spawned. Okay, that was a little bit aggressive, but let's move to this side door, but only one turn uh, further than before. But again, I'll see you guys in a second. So I've put everybody around this big door, so let's uh, open that up. I don't know how big the area around here is, but we don't seem to spot anything. It is a rather big area. Uh, and there's another room in the back here, but let's see... There is an upper area here as well. That might be interesting. So let's just um, put Elena over here. I still don't know if it's Elena or Elena. Oh, wow. Well, we weren't expecting to sneak in here today. Ah. Let's take these things out. Ah, okay. That is uh, four Archons. How far do we... Can we know how far their eyesight is? Probably not. Okay. So let's trigger them from over here. With... Oh no. Can I blow something up in the vicinity? Oh, I can. Remote start. So that's going to take... Well, add 10 damage to 3 of the 4 Archons. Which is nice. And it does not reveal the Reaper. So I've done everything I can. A blammo. Shouldn't have put yourselves right next to that. There we go. So does that wake them up? It does, but it does not reveal Elena, probably. No. Because they don't go up either way. Okay. And they're still on ground level, which also means that we have a chance at taking these guys out. I think I just don't do enough damage yet with rents to be able to take him out but let's see who we can put up top because i can assume that that would give us a big advantage here so let's put jacqueline up top here i think she could actually fire twice if i recall correctly but 89 88 82 those are some nice olds. I should probably... Yeah, 89 is going to be the best. It's going to take out that Archon if it hits. And that's a graze, obviously. But damaging them is also good. If they're weak enough, we can start... We can put Christina in and give them all a face-off. Now. Huh. Reaper could also be an option. The Reaper ability, that is. Okay, so that Archon is in a pretty good position. And it's the only one I'm going to be able to see. 
Because even the one in the back, I only have a 65% shot on. So let's start with a lightning reflexes shot on the front Archon. If I kill it, all the better. If I don't... There we go. Never mind, I don't need to worry about don't. Because it's dead. Now, I can fire the sniper rifle at the back Archon with a little bit of luck. That actually kills it if I manage to hit it. One, two, three. Come on, Christina. Oh, that was another graze, but he's burning all right. Hmm. Oh, I get a free action. That's another shot on him. Might as well try it out. Because of the hair trigger. Oh, and that seems like a solid hit. So that's two Archons down. Okay, Christina doing her work again. Um, Now... Should probably go for Ren. She can parry after that. We know there's probably nothing nearby. So let's just do this with a uh, light touch. This world is ours. And smack. That gives us two damage on the back Archon as well. Now we get momentum. But I think the more interesting thing is now uh, to put... Uh, Heidi into a run and gun position where she will guaranteed blade hit the um, the last Archon over there. So if I just put Heidi over here, I hope that doesn't trigger anything else, but we'll see about that. If it does, it does. But no. Okay. So that means we have a 95% chance shot at this guy with a 55% chance to critical hit. I could do rapid fire. Double 80 is probably better if I definitely want to kill it. Do I have anybody else? I still have Sarah. Then I think I should just keep it safe. Because Sarah is a bit too far away. And just give her a rapid fire on that uh, high powered Archon. So let's do this. Luckily, because that first one was a miss. Oh, and that second one was a grace. Okay. Okay. But remember, if either one wants to move, they're going to have to deal with me as well. Um, now, Sarah. Yeah, this is all going to depend on Sarah now. So let's put Sarah over here. Right out in the open. And then fire at that one Archon. Oh, for fuck's sake. These guys are so hard to hit. Okay. Then we're basically in big trouble. I hope some of them try to move. Ah, there we go. Bladestorm on that one. Because he turned around. <laughs> Bladestorm is such a cheat. Now, that Archon, I don't think it will be able to have a good shot from there. Ah, there we go. He wants to move. But he won't. That was the best option. There we go. Heidi took out both of them with Bladestorm. Ha, 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 ha. That blade is just the best. True abominations, microbes that think themselves greater than the gods. You take this place with your infestation. Okay, um, I'm gonna move up, but I'll probably just stock up on ammo first. I'll see you guys in a second. Is it not the elders who are the true saviors of your race? They who fight to preserve an entire universe. Yet here you stand, willing to die to retain your ignorance. So that's something I really like about the Chosen. They really do believe that the Elders are the savior of everything. Um, which is interesting, of course, because we know that they are just out to find the perfect life form. And that they, they will do anything to get that goal. But, moving up. To save. I once considered myself a part of your race. You seem so small, there we so go. narrow of purpose. You do not deserve the Elder's attentions. So we assumed as much uh, a while back since the Elder was talking about their the remains of their humanity. So the Chosen were actually human at one point. So there we go, open that up. And that was... Ooh, wow. This looks like an experimentation chamber, all right, but I think I found the portal already. Which would be really, really interesting. Because that would mean we can bypass most of the enemies in this area, unless they're on high alert once we do this. 
And I think, I think that is that, right? I'm gonna just stand in front of the door just to check. But I'm pretty sure that's the gate chamber. Yeah. Energy signature directly ahead. This appears to be an alien transport device of some kind. Understood. Looks like we found our way out of here. Wait, is there nobody defending this? There must be another pod on the right there. I don't see how there wouldn't be another pod on the right there. Okay. But we know that Elena went over there without getting spotted, so we should be able to all move up now. Oh crap, or not. Wow, triple mutal Nana Spectre. Luckily, I only moved one uh, one bit. Um, that is actually pretty good. How big is my storm at the moment? Ionic storm is this big at the moment. I can hit three of them with it, and it does six to ten damage. I could finish it off with that. But first things first, we need to get in the explosive. So, um, Jacqueline, how close can you get? I think I can put it over here. And that can give her the acid bomb. Launch the acid bomb. And that should also give us... Yeah, I need to get that on the front three enemies. I didn't really bring normal explosives. Which is, of course, interesting. But, do we have run and gun back? Not yet. Um, so, I'm gonna have to be careful here. This is full cover. So, might as well take advantage of that. So that gives us sight on all of them, at least. With a very, very bad chance to hit the one... Although, the one in the back is the one I want to have. It's 46, but what else do we have here? Christina moved up, but she can only see one mutal um, because of her annoying positioning here. Then I'm pretty sure Lena is, I think, uh, immune to anything corrosive, if I recall correctly. Yeah, the soldier is immune to fire, poison, acid, and explosive damage, so she won't even get hits if she uh yeah okay so that should be a good a good way to do that so acid bomb and then the storm in between there so let's try that so let's start with an acid bomb although i do want to take out that one in the back first i mean it could start reapering but i don't think i'll be able to kill them enough it 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 does bypass armor but i know mutons can actually counter melee attacks so I don't want to risk that, especially not at this point. Um, but since I only have one shot here, might as well try and do some damage on the back muton. Although, you know what? Back muton? Yeah, back muton. 45, it's not a, a good shot, but at least we had one damage on it because of the stock. Okay, another problem. The other thing we probably need to do is just weaken... Do we weaken that one? No. No, we won't. Um, I'm just going to use the acid bomb. That's not a big resource to spend. And let's throw that right on top of these three. So that with bigger boom and volatile mix, that should could get us a critical. So could get us up to eight. Yeah, up to eight damage. So there we go. We got a critical on that one mutant. I'm gonna try shot at the Spectre because... Ooh, yeah, if I hit, he's weak enough to actually die to the storm. So let's just do this. This is a big risk. Uh, but it, it's basically the only thing I can really do. So let's just do... Ionic Storm right over... Oh, that's gonna remove the cover from Elena as well. Can I move that just a little bit further that it doesn't? Ooh, this is going to be problematic, but uh, here we go. The storm is coming. If all goes well, she should they should all die. Okay, here we go. And... Oh, ah, the specter didn't die. Will your gods welcome you now? 
double focus for me. But she's out in the open now. Ooh, I didn't think this through, now did I? This is gonna hurt. I'm hoping she survives. Ah, she's gonna get shadow bound. Even better. Because that means she can't get shot. Yeah, okay, that's good. She can get shot from there. I mean, it doesn't sound like it's good, but... There we go. Elena clone gets a shot. Uh, Lena clone, clone, clown. Lena clown. It's a green Lena clown, and of course they spot Elena, which is now bad because the mutant might actually try and do something about that. They're moving around the sides, indeed. Is the mutant gonna? I think he's just gonna fire at Elena now. Who is he gonna fire at? Oh, grenade! Ow. That is four people hit by that single grenade. Wow, and everybody starts... Two people are burning. I'm gonna get acid if I do that, but I think I can take these guys out rather quickly. So let's use the claymore. Um, over here. Can I actually take out that entire corner? I probably won't be able to. I need to put it somewhere where I can actually see it. So let's just put it over there. Claymore. And I gave it a new ability. So if I kill something with the Claymore, I actually return to Shadow. And since that will kill the Spectre, I don't need to worry about anything anymore. There we go. And back to Shadow. So now, Lena can actually just fire a pistol at this point. It's a plasma pistol, so 100% shot. There we go. Wow, seven damage with that pistol. <laughs> and I can even grab this now. Okay. Um, old things. Well, that ends well, I suppose. Up to maximum focus. And then everybody else, I'm going to have to heal up in a second. So let's just huddle around. Since everybody's damaged and uh, weakened, I should probably uh, heal that off with a restoration. Even though it seems like a bit of overkill at the point at the moment. Um, I'm going to do it like that just to avoid. Because there are still, like we only killed eight enemies. So there are still six enemies around uh, this area. So let's just move everybody closer. There we go. Restoration should everybody should put everybody back on full health. So 4 HP on Sarah. Getting rid of the burn and healing. I think 1 HP on uh, Jacqueline because she has a, a bit of extra padding. Then Heidi fully healed up. 3 health. And Christina got the biggest hit. She's burning and 4 HP that needs to be healed off. There we go. Their will took a bit of a hit, which might be a problem in the coming um, fight. And I think I kind of screwed myself with the acid bomb, but uh, let's see about that in a second. So I'm not going to care about the other, uh, the other enemies in the area. I'm just going to um, reload everybody I can and put everybody in the area, of course. We need to uh, move up. So let's reload Heidi here. Reload Christina. That's not a free reload. Um, then Elena as well. Lena is fine. And I think... Yeah. Is that an auto loader? Not exactly sure. Because I can see that if I go to reload. Reload your primary weapon. No, it's just an expanded mag. So let's... Is that everybody? I think everybody's fully loaded up now. Yeah. So everybody's in. Activate the ascension gate. Well done, Menace 1-5. See you on the other side. Okay. And there we are. In our second stronghold. Ooh, this one has elevation. Okay, that is pretty good. Because that allows Christina to shoot from anywhere. What is that? 
Some kind of stasis chamber for the Chosen? No wonder they keep coming back at us despite everything we throw at them. I mean, Bradford, we knew that already. We've seen that with the assassin. Very good little humans. Come to me. Like a moth to a flame will you be consumed by my brilliance. So let's put Elena forward. I've put her in shadow again. Yeah, there we go. So we have a berserker down. Ooh, two berserkers down there. Okay. I'm assuming we can take those out. So let's use Heidi as a first move against these berserkers. Because I'm going to have to take them out first. They're going to drain a lot of my ammo. But there they go. Screaming all the while. Aha, one entered Bladestorm range, so he's going to get hit. So that's 11 damage already. Now. Um, I could probably just pistol all of them. Yeah, so lightning hands on the first. You know what? Let's move around a little bit first. Um, I can put Sarah over here. Like that. So she just moved up a little bit. She has a better shot at these uh, Berserkers as well. So let's start firing at them. 100% shots. And they're gonna start getting angry. So enraged. That reduces the will of our soldiers. But... I think Jacqueline now has the ability... I need to check this really quickly. I think she has the ability now. Yeah, launching, throwing grenades or using heavy weapons with your first action will not end your turn. Ah, but that doesn't mean using the cannon, of course. No, that doesn't. That doesn't mean that. So if I use a grenade, I can fire again if I want to. But I'm not going to use a grenade just yet. So let's just... Um, hmm, move up and start firing. So what I'm going to try and do is actually kill this closest one first. They're not going to be able to crit. But that's at least 10 damage. So that means I think we should now be able to uh, pistol whip. Jesus. That was straight in Heidi's face. I thought she was going to get hit there. But lightning reflexes on the closest one. That should kill it. There we go. And there we get two more pistol shots on that. Ooh, that's a, a sniper rifle shot. Probably shouldn't do that. Let's fire the first pistol shot. And I really want to try if I can kill it with a melee attack. Because it's a trophy. How much does it have right now? One, two, three, six, nine. Can I kill that with Yarashi? Oh, this is so risky. So three, six, nine health. So if I get this off, I kill it, but... Yeah, okay, let's try this. I have backup if it doesn't work, but there we go, David and Goliath. I never had that trophy before, killing a berserker with a melee attack. That was a ridiculous risk I just took, but I don't care. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna move up Elena closer. To see if there are any more enemies over there. There aren't. So it's just the obelisk. But he's gonna spawn, of course. If only you knew the truth. The power in my hands. You would fall to your knees before me. Pity. I suppose we should begin then. Okay. So remember that obelisk is the key. All right. We've faced these things before and we can do it again. No matter what happens today, only one side is leaving this place alive. At last the humans speak the truth. So I can't yet use ghost. I want to use ghost with Lena. But there are no corpses in here, so I can't really use Ghost at the moment. So what I'm gonna do instead is move forward as much as I can. I don't think I can put Christina up there now. Um, so let's put Lena a little bit closer. 
Uh, so she can actually react to some things. She can actually go very, very far if she wants to. Let's put it high up for now. I can move to anywhere from here if I want to. Then I should probably put Heidi a little bit closer as well. She has Untouchable and Implacable at the moment. Well, Implacable I just used. And then Christina I'm going to have to just put right next to... Yeah, this pillar over here. So, now things get exciting because of course we need to destroy his sarcophagus and him. And he's going for Beastmaster. So that's two faces. They should probably go for Heidi, but Heidi has Blade Storm, remember that. So if they don't spot... I don't think they spotted her. And then Mind Scorch on... Yeah, Christina. Okay, that's again the bullshit of the days. Okay, I'm gonna use Lena to do exactly that. Um, can I fire at that thing just yet? I don't, right? I need to kill the, the Warlock first. Regenerates lost health, reveals concealed units and immune to melee damage. But he probably takes... I don't know his, uh, his downsides again. He takes increased damage from close ranged attacks. But he does reveal concealed units. How does that work exactly? So if I move over here, does he reveal me? Yeah, he does. Okay, interesting. Interesting. So, let's uh, revive everybody here one by one. I think I'm going to start with... Uh, they're just too far away from everything to... Uh, do this effectively but Lena can go over here and uh, wake up Christina this should ease your pain. but she is disoriented okay because she's disoriented I might as well use her so I can go over here and revive uh, Jacqueline from... Okay. I can, right? Ah, oh, crap. I should be able to. Or maybe she can't because she's disoriented. That would be bad. I can, right? Yeah. See, I can normally do that. But because Christina is still disoriented, she probably can't use that ability. Crap. And Sarah is disoriented as well, which means that she can't use her abilities. I should probably fire on the Warlock right now, because that starts taking down his uh, his armor. And I could banish. That's 88%. And times 6, that goes up to 30. A bit brittle. I don't know if this counts as a close range attack. But I guess we'll see. Here we go. Come on. I don't care about him right now. There we go, that's one time his armor down. Come on, come on, Elena. And that's another miss. Is that everything? I think there's one more shot. No, okay, we missed again. So these guys have 10 health. But with the slash, I do up to 11. So I think I should probably... Initiate Reaper mode. There we go. Let's just do this. That's a kill. And we get that loot immediately, I suppose. So let's grab that. An Illyrium core from that Faceless. And then I can do another slash. And that kills him as well. And now we have rapid fire, but it's in a really bad position. So I'm just going to put um, Heidi back. I should probably put her out in the open because she's immortal at the moment. Because of untouchable. So let's do that. 
And then Sarah probably should go into cover. Because I can't I can't revive Jacqueline anyway. Okay. I'm hoping he doesn't go for Jacqueline. Because he could actually try and uh yeah, that's gonna miss. I mean she's disoriented and everything. The warlock is running away though. He's going onto higher ground. Which is a very good position. Mind control on Sarah. That's not a problem. But I think she does still have Overwatch. Which might be problematic. But if I move to... Right next to the Warlock, I should be able to kill him, right? I think so. I'm gonna even risk it on it. There we go. There's no other option for me. All in. There we go. That's 100%, but with rapid fire, that's double 100%. He's down. And there he goes. Wow. 24, 24 damage. All the so mind control removed. And they're no longer... Jacqueline is no longer dazed. This appears to be some sort of psionic capacitor transferring tremendous amounts of psionic energy directly to the Chosen, restoring them. No wonder these things don't die. Affirmative, moving out. So now we need to move up. We need to move up. I don't want to make the same mistake as before again. Last time, we kind of lost... Um, we lost, what was her name? Oh, Alessia. Alessia. We lost Alessia because I kept her in the back. Um, but now I feel like we should be able to do this. Can I see the corpse of the warlock from over here? Can I turn the warlock into a ghost? Does he count as a humanoid enemy? He doesn't seem to. Oh no, of course, because he doesn't leave a corpse. Okay. Then that means I should probably keep Elena, uh, Elena over there. That's fine. And Sarah can go up here as well. Just for the better shots. Yeah, let's move Jacqueline up there as well. And then Christina doesn't really have a lot of options. She's still disoriented, but this is a guaranteed hit, so I might as well do it. I know that's a bad idea to leave her in the back, but 9 damage on the obelisk is a good start. Elena. I'm going to reload Elena. And then I'm going to have her fire at the obelisk as well. It's not down by a long shot, but it's a start. We're going to get three turns to finish this. Sarah can't actually see the obelisk from here, but I'm going to put it over there. So she has a nice shot on anything that spawns, because she goes into Overwatch automatically. Now, I could give my extra bond action to Elena, but that's only 6 damage, so I'm not going to care right now. So let's just put it on Overwatch. There we go. And we got an Andromedon. That is problematic, because even the pistol, that's not going to do anything, is it? Yeah, 4 armor. That's an annoying thing to deal with. And we got two of them. A codex. Okay. But Christina lost her disorientation, which is good. Now, I'm gonna pull back... Yeah, I'm gonna pull back Christina. Uh, there's no overwatches, if I saw correctly. So let's just move her away. So remember, if I use a grenade with Jacqueline, that doesn't end her turn. So grenade on... Where the hell is he? Oh, the... Wow, the camera changed a little. That was a bit weird. Let's make this an acid pit. That's not going to do that much damage because I'm pretty sure the Andromedon is immune to acid. But at least his armor is going to be done, gone, so that's 7 damage, but he's not going to get an acid burn because he's immune to that. Now, Salvo. I could use the Shred Storm Cannon to, <laughs> I mean, eviscerate the entire area, but... I mean, 
It's 8 to 11 damage on basically anything I can get my hands on. But I should probably wait and hold off. What can I do with my normal shots? I could actually try and take out the cover of the codex. Um, although, no, that's not really a problem at the moment. Let's take out... Yeah, let's demolish the cover of the Andromedon. Because he's in a really annoying position there. So, demolition. Oh, one, two, three. And that leaves him to half cover, which is still okay, I suppose. Now, I should probably... Yeah, let's use Lena first. And rend the Codex. Uh, rend them from over here. Yeah, let's do that. I could have flashed them as well. But this is gonna... It's gonna be fine. Disoriented, so that means he can't use his ability. Aha. That is interesting. So now, what I'm gonna do is... Can I actually kill the Codex now with a single shot? I could. Yeah, let's try that. If I kill it like that, all the better. Nah, a miss. Um... Then I need to give my bond action to Lena. I'm gonna take out the Codex. There we go. On to Lena. Lena can then rend the Codex again. Feel the power of the Templars. And that's at least done with that. Now I gain focus from that, but that, that doesn't really matter. I don't get a corpse either, which is even more annoying. But let's just parry. Then I could try and run and gun towards the, the Andromedon. Or we go all out on the... Uh, I think I'm going to have to. We need to go all out on the on the obelisk. So fire my weapon. I'm going to probably use the Mimic Beacon in the next turn. Um, but right now I need to focus fire on that thing. Because otherwise we'll uh, get into a little bit of trouble. Because now we're going to get the Warlock again. No, another Codex. So definitely problematic, but I think the only one that can actually do something is going to be the Andromedon. Oh, please don't give us another Andromedon. Okay, that's just another Codex. Okay, and I still have the Flashbang, so that means I can probably flash both the Codexes. Andromedon moves up, he's probably going to fire on... Jacqueline. Oh, that's an Acid Bomb. Acid Burn on everybody. Okay. Oh, crap. So that means that... Yeah, I'm going to have to do some healing. So Sarah's definitely going to have to go into healing mode. Okay. Okay. Where's that second codex off to? So there's two codexes. Oh, I'm going to have to be careful now. I won't be able to kill the obelisk in one go, so we're gonna get the uh, the warlock again. With reduced health, but still. I don't think, yeah, Christina is not in the acid area. So first things first, let's move Sarah out of the acid. That's the first thing we need to do. Then, of course, we do the same thing for Jacqueline. Jacqueline moves over here. Christina is still... In an okay position, I feel like. But I can give her a better position if I know I can kill the Andromedon. The Andromedon is probably the biggest annoyance over here. Because that thing is going to hurt. But um, let's first use Sarah to heal up. I could still do capacitor discharge as well. But that's not going to be enough. Um, so let's just heal Jacqueline. So she doesn't acid burn anymore. And I have two options with Jacqueline. Either I use the flashbang to disorient both codexes, which I think I should be able to do. This is it. Yeah, so that hits both of them. 
Um, so yeah, basically that's the thing I need to do, because that's going to disorient them, and they can't copy afterwards. I don't have any other uses for the, uh, the flashbang anyway, so there we go. Now, the biggest problem is going to be that Andromedon. I could take out any of the codexes with... Wait, wait, wait. I can take out the codexes with Lena now, right? I think that now does enough damage. So let's just use Rend on uh, this one. So is that a guaranteed kill? 10 or 11? That's 10, right? So there we go. There we go. Okay. One codex down. And we have a nice juicy target for the Andromedon to focus on. Lena is immune to... Um, so we already get max focus. Immune to any sorts of acid. So she won't be she won't be in trouble. I'm not gonna risk Christina's life. Uh, I should probably just go forward and start firing at the obelisk with Christina. But he can't see me at the moment, can he? So if I just fire at the obelisk with my sniper rifle, I should be fine. I need to be healed up next time anyway. And I'm gonna suppose I can kill the uh, the codex with somebody else. So let's do this. A damage on the obelisk. It's probably gonna start cracking in a minute. High D can go over here. That should give it a flank shot on the codex, killing it. Hopefully, that's a 90-90%. So there we go. 15 damage. No hair trigger action. No. Just uh, an implacable movement. Um, I'm not gonna get her any any closer because that's just gonna be bad um, so let's just fire again I should probably move into cover there we go and then fire at the obelisk again so that just doesn't take it out which means that we're gonna get um, yeah we're gonna get him in a second the big man uh, can I move I'm gonna put Heidi a little bit closer maybe even in this direction so she's not close by anybody else yeah like over here On the move. so she's a bit more central so we can move to anywhere we want to and there he is again the time for is over. oh wow but he is still full health because of course the obelisk still works We don't get extra enemies though, but that guy is moving. Is that? Okay, that's good. Very. Look at that. Just blocked. Just blocked. But Christina is getting uh, her ass kicked. But we do get uh, another turn, so we're still alive. And I probably should take out the obelisk in uh, as, as soon as possible. Um, so, Sarah, heal up um, myself, preferably first. <laughs> to start with Sarah. There we go. So that gets rid of the acid burn. And then do the same for Christina. She's not in the perfect position, but at least... Everybody's healed up again, so we can take another hit. Now, I think it's high time we use that Shred Storm Cannon for something. Can I actually put myself in a better position here? I can't. Um, sure, Shred Storm Cannon. <laughs> Am I going to use that on the Warlock? I think I'm going to have to. Yeah, if I use that on the Warlock, I can probably kill him rather quickly. Uh, or, we put Christina in a better position and have her start firing away with her pistol. She can actually go over here. It's not the best, and I don't know how big the acid splash is when you kill the Andromedon. I'm hoping it's okay, but... Um, hi, Andromedon. <laughs> hi. Hi. Let's do the first shot. Ooh, that was a critical even six damage. Could be a little bit more, but 
now. I think Lena can still not make a copy and she can't rent the the Warlock. So I'm going to use her rent ability on the Andromedon at the moment. Uh, so if I do that like this... She should be able to kill it, and we'll see immediately how big that acid splash is. So he's waking up again. All according to plan. He has a lot of health. So don't worry about that too much just yet. Okay, I'm gonna try and blast. Yeah, I'm gonna blast. Oh, don't, don't go too far. There we go. Blast the Chosen, the Warlock, and his cover. With the Shred Storm, I've kept it for this. For this exactly. Blammo! So that's all his armor gone. Um, gone with his cover. And then... Oof, 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 oof. So I could try and do... I'm gonna have to do it like that. Um, so the Andromedon is still alive as well. And Lena only has momentum. I also have Heidi. He takes increased damage from getting really, really close up. But do I want to take that risk? I don't. I really, really don't. Um, I could do face off. So that seems like the better option at the moment. So let's face off. So that should hit both the Warlock and the Andromedon. And that's the full 6 damage. And another 6 damage on the Warlock. Now. The Andromedon shell is gonna be trouble. I'm wondering, he's out in the open, right? He doesn't take cover anymore. Okay, so if I... Put Heidi over here. Like that. She actually has a 99% shot. Okay, great. Now... Move over here, so, so she's at least out of sight of the uh, the Warlock, a little bit. And then she fires on the Andromedon shell. That's Blood Trail, so an extra bit of damage. And then Heidi can finish off the Andromedon, giving her Untouchable. No longer a threat. So that gives her an Untouchable and Implacable, which I'm now going to do is... I'm, no, he's immune to uh, melee attacks, but if I get close enough... If he spawns faceless, he should be in trouble, because of course the blade storm is going to trigger. Uh, and then we can parry with Lena as well, so we have a bit of defense against anything they can throw at us. So there we go, Beastmaster, not a problem, they're going to spawn right next to Heidi, and Heidi's going to slash them in one go. They're not even going to survive their own turn. Because here goes the first one. There we go. And then the second one is probably going to try and do the same thing and die as well. So I don't care. He used his one ability. There we go. Blade Storm. And we get more loot out of the Faceless. Kill confirmed. My expectations for them were exceedingly... And we get another Illyrium Core, which is great. I love how the, jo the Warlock is just looking. Like, God damn it, she did it again. She Blade Stormed my beasts again. Please don't daze. Ah, uh, Mind Scorch. My oh god! That's only two. Okay, that's fine. Two is fine. So we're gonna have to split that up just a little bit. Uh, two is fine, but where is the closest person next to them? Is that gonna be... Yeah, that's gonna be uh, Elena. And Elena doesn't get a shot off then. That is annoying. Nothing I can do about that. I can use Lena afterwards. So at least that gives me that. So let's just put Elena right next to Lena. And she recovers immediately, of course, because they're bond mates. Um, then Lena can't use the faceless corpses. So she is basically useless at the moment. So let's just use her. Get into cover right next to... Uh, I think that's Christina, right? Yeah, Christina. And revive her as well. But she's disoriented. Okay. Not that much of a problem right now. Sarah. 
You still have a few nice abilities up your sleeve. Um, but I'm not going to use them. I'm going to just use you to take out the sarcophagus. Because I'm pretty confident that we will be able to take out the, uh, the Chosen. I can't see the sarcophagus from over here, apparently. I mean, it's a giant big pillar over there. You don't even need to... Can I combat protocol? God damn it. Okay. Then I need to reload Jacqueline. And she can start firing at the... Uh, at the pillar then. Wait. Oh, I can fire at the pillar. Okay. Got it. Um, then I'm just gonna put... Put Heidi over here again. Although... She's not gonna get untouchable, is she? Huh. That makes things a little bit more complicated, of course. Because I was assuming I would be able to... Hit the sarcophagus, but the lo as long as he's not in there, we can actually hit it. Okay, okay. Let's then just get everybody a little bit closer. Volk says I am to obey. Uh, so let's get Christina. Oh, Christina is in a really bad position. No, let's just reload Christina. Because of her disorientation, she doesn't really get a good option here. Um, then... I should probably just try. I could give her him a combat protocol. Um, and if I try with Jacqueline, Jacqueline might actually be able to accidentally remove some of the cover. So let's try that anyway, even though the shots are really low. Wow. I don't think I could do Danger Zone, right? I think that was still... Uh, wasn't, wasn't good still, so... I know I can do up to 25 damage with the shotgun from over there. But I'm going to have to see. Because if I get Heidi close enough, I'll do that. You never know what happens. Um, and then I can actually just... Can I just shoot him? I probably should just shoot him. So 100%, 94% crit chance. And he's brittle, probably because it's a close range attack. 24 damage, but he doesn't go down. Or does he? How much does he have left? <laughs> he has one health left. Okay. 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 Let me know what to do. Call my protocol on the warlock. Bye, buddy. You're gonna get zapped. And uh, zap. And there he goes. With the amount of energy housed in that capacitor, I fear the Chosen can continue the regeneration process indefinitely. I do not believe we can simply wear them down. Understood. And we, we get more enemies. Crap. Our so a priest. And another one at the same position. And it's a codex. I want to see if I can go all in. Because I think this ends when the warlock dies. We'll see about that in a second. Um, loot expired, that's not really that much of a problem. And Christina is still disoriented. So that means we should probably use Christina as a way to damage the pillar. Because you can't really miss those shots on the pillar. She can't go far though, so let's just fire with the sniper rifle on the pillar. And blammo, that's 10 damage. Pretty good. If I had a pistol shot, I could just finish this right now. Uh, but... What do I best use in this scenario? The Codex isn't going to die from a simple rend. But I can I can take care of that in a second. Uh, I have a 70% chance to also skull mine the priest, so I probably shouldn't use her. Jacqueline is basically out of everything that makes her useful, so... Let's just get her closer and let her destroy the uh, sarcophagus or whatever you need to call that thing. Is it called the sarcophagus? I don't even see it, what it's called. So let's just... I'm going to call it the sarcophagus. Blammo! There it goes. So now the warlock is going to come out. I'm hoping that's a good thing. Yes, the regeneration process has been interrupted. Readings on the capacitor indicate it has become highly unstable. Then let's target that chosen with everything we've got. Is he is he back? 
Because I didn't see him pop up. Um, I'm gonna use... Yeah, I think I'm gonna use... Um, Elena's Claymore. Oh no, that's gonna... That's gonna... No, 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 wait, wait, wait. That's gonna split him up. Um, I think I'm gonna have to try Lena first, even though she probably won't kill it. Oh, what I can do is risk everything. Can I get both of them with this? Wait, because the Ionic Storm is pretty wide if you have full focus. No, okay, we can't hit both of them. But it could kill the Codex. And if it does, I can put it in the cover over here. Yeah, let's risk it all. On a simple Ionic Storm. Here we go. Stick that up in the air. And... Kaplamo! 15 damage. He's down. The full Monty. And we got one focus extra because of that. We don't get parry because it's not a rend. Um, now. I could try just a simple skull check. I should probably do that because that could kill it in one go. Yeah, let's do that. Skull mine. Hopefully that doesn't fail. Ah, crap. So that means she misses. Yeah, she misses. Okay. It did give her... Ooh. I still got a shield after that. Well, that doesn't seem fair, but there we go. 97% chance. In his face. Seven. Okay, so let's try and get another shield in. 50%. Not the best shot. I can't let that happen again. And then Heidi. There now. If Heidi gets a shot off, she might be able to kill it. But the chances are going to be really, really low. And even like over here, that's not going to be good, is it? I'm going to try running gun. Go over here. I don't even know where I selected because the, the glare of the sarcophagus is in the way. That's 57, but if I do rapid fire, that's double 40. Might as well try it. And that's a miss. And we don't get stock damage on rapid fire, but there we go. Second one hits, even on a critical. That's a talent rounds for you. Okay, and then we can put uh, Heidi back straight in the middle. To give her a better, uh, better position towards the warlock, which is going to be yeah, there we go. No place for you to go now. And he's running. Oh, he's running far away. Impossible! The elders, they are silent. Yeah, he's a bit mad. I will destroy you for this outrage. Um, let's just reload. And then I could probably... How far is he? He's over there. I need to get rid of that cover. So I think... Um, yeah, Jacqueline, what do you think about um, getting close enough to get rid of his, uh, his cover over there? Can you do that for me? Can you do that for me? She can't. She can't do that for me. She's, she's a bit daft at the moment. <laughs> so let's just reload her. That's not going to help me one bit, but at least she's reloaded. And then Heidi doesn't see him either. I could actually freeze him if I can get the grenade over there. Oh, just not. Okay. Then the other thing I can do with Lena is just amplify damage on his ass. So amplify. Amplify on the Warlock. Then um, every damage is amplified. So that includes combat protocol and the like. Or even capacitor discharge. Does that do more damage actually? Six to nine. And that is gonna be amplified. Um, I am gonna toss a mimic beacon over there. Just because it's the only thing I really can do with uh, Heidi here. And then Christina is gonna have to go. I think go up. That seems like a good position for her. Just go up. So he doesn't do anything uh, too drastic over there. And then I can give him a shot. But of course, if I can hit this 60% shot, that reduces his armor. 
Ah, but we miss. I take responsibility. Yeah, good, but I that doesn't really help us there. Um, but I can do a capacitor discharge that shouldn't hit any of us. But at least that's going to do some damage. And it's amplified, it ignores armor. Oh, it doesn't ignore armor, that's bad. Okay, um, then I'm just going to fire a pistol shot at him from over here. I'm kind of wasting my amplified hits, but at least he's burning. Amplify ended, yeah, because that, that miss shot apparently uh, worked as well as an amplify hit. Never mind. What's he gonna do? Beastmaster again? Uh, two chrysalids. That is actually more scary than, um, you know, faceless. They're gonna try and get closer, and of course, he's just running. Oh, come on. That is really annoying. So he's making more spectral zombies? That doesn't look like... Oh my god, is that the assassin? That looks like an assassin clone. Oh crap. How many did he make? Okay, this is gonna be problematic. This is gonna be really problematic. But they seem to be relatively low health. Oh, that. The others do not abandon me completely. The power still flows through my veins. I will prevail. Okay. So he put himself behind an army, a veritable army of creatures. Um, so that means I should probably try Reaper mode. I think I can kill a lot of these things with Reaper. So three... How much health does a, a Chrysalid have? Ten and one armor. But I think the Ayashi ignores armor, so... Reaper... And start slashing. Um, Chrysalid... Uh, one? Over here. Please let him kill that. Let her kill that. There we go. I'm not gonna risk another Chrysalid getting hit. So... I could try, but it's a risk. You know what? She still has face off. Um, let's see. Can I move somebody up so they can get a shot at? Nope. No. 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 Over here. Let's put Jacqueline over there. And then get rid of the cover of the uh, warlock. I can probably do that, right? No, I can't. Okay. Um, then I'm just going to fire at the chrysalids. Like this. So that shreds the armor and takes out most of the, the health there. Now. Heidi is still alive and kicking. So let's just jump up. And slash uh, this guy. There we go. Then we can go down. down and hit uh, this guy. That's 8 damage. Then how much health does this guy have? Uh, that's 8. So I won't be able to do 8 again. But we still have a sniper in a very good position here. Oh wow, I killed him. Never mind. Then I can just... Um, I suppose I can... I can just wait. Can you fire your pistol? I could even fire at the warlock. Question is, do I want to do that? Probably not. Wait a second. So I'm gonna put... I'm gonna use Lena's rend attack. 
and put it over here. That's gonna give her the focus of the kill and the focus that's over there on the floor. So like this. And now we get another focus. Then Heidi is also implacable. So if I just fire away from here, that's just 38%, but I don't care. There we go, at least we got one damage in. Because uh, it was a graze, interesting. Let's reload Elena, and we can move her up again. Right next to Jacqueline over here. And then we can parry Lena. Get Sarah a little bit closer. And maybe even do another combat protocol. Yeah, why not, eh? I want to damage him as much as possible, and combat protocol does ignore armor. He just... he bamboozled me pretty well there. There we go. A bit of damage. I could try and fire away at him. But that's not gonna kill him, is it? Even... I mean, I can try. I can try. I'm at the same elevation. Oh, wow, that was a hit. And he's burning again. I think he's gonna die from the burn. Oh, he regenerated before he burned. Okay. Mind Scorch. That's gonna hurt. Okay, that's only two, I think. Lena and Jacqueline. Okay, so let's start with reviving, while the Warlock thinks he's almost won. Jacqueline is disoriented, okay. That means she can't use abilities. But, I think I have him here, because the only thing I really need to do is... Um, Heidi can move up, but that doesn't really matter at the moment. Uh, I can put Heidi over here so she can revive Lena. There we go. We but she's disoriented, okay. Two. That means she doesn't have any abilities, and in the case of a Templar, that's pretty bad. But... Um, Elena... can move forward. Moving is ordered. And then she can throw her Claymore... right where it needs to be. And that is up top there. That should take out all of his walls over there and I think I think Christina should be able to hit that with a pistol there we go there we go pistol shot on the claymore goodbye warlock it's been fun boom warlock was killed and you get a little cutscene I suppose it wasn't easy but we managed to pull it off commander if only we could see the look on the Elders' faces. And there we go. Second chosen done. Oof! Those are tough missions every single time. Okay. He just blew up. Alright, so that was excellent. 30 aliens killed and only 4 people wounded and we didn't... Nobody died, which is great. Whew, these chosen stronghold missions are uh, something. Damn. But uh, we managed to pull out okay. Everybody's still alive. Nobody got a promotion out of that. Which is... Uh, yeah. Suppose that's great. And the only one that weren't wounded were actually Lena and Elena. And their uh, bond can actually be improved as well. So we might as well do that. We got four Codex Brains. The Warlocks disrupt the rifle. Despite his fixation on psionic power, even a chosen Warlock carried a more traditional weapon in times of need. I don't think he ever used it. Which is interesting. 
And there we get two Illyrium Corps and the corpses of everything that came across our path in that final bit. And there we go, the Andromedon Corpse. Is that the first one we take with us? That's interesting. And uh, there we go, the Warlock Weapon. But we need to investigate that, I think, first. So, there we go. Um, training center now immediately. Yeah, I want to I wanna improve the bond between Elena and Lena. They're gone for six days, which is fine, because I think they were tired anyway. So, let's confirm that bond. Dual strike is not going to be useful for them, but uh, the second uh, charge on the bond actions is going to be uh, really, really nice. Now... Uh, we're still working on the sector pod breakdown, which is uh, very, very important if you want to upgrade our specialists. So we're just going to continue on our way. Power fluctuations, uh, a bit of intel over there. Is the black market open already? No. So we definitely still need to My check something out. Differences, but still, I would never have expected either of them to go down like this. We have plenty of intel, so I think I'm just going to go for the supplies. Um, yeah, let's just go for that. And we get... Is that a facility? Oh, we reduced the Cavadar pro, pro project even further. I kind of forgot that was active. Um, but there we go. Um, health was increased on Gertrude, but otherwise no promotions, which is sad, but we'll assign a new covert action nonetheless. And we're gonna go for a scientist, so higher learning, and we're putting uh, Gertrude and Elizabeth Davis on there, so our new ranger. And she will get an extra mobility point, which is very, very good on rangers indeed. Sectopod breakdown is complete, so let's check what we can do with that. We get the Gremlin Mark III, which is nice. And the Warlock weapon is actually inspired. Berserker autopsy is instant now, so let's do that. Fearsome creature, long referred to as a Berserker, is clearly a genetic relation to the other mutant species we have encountered in the field. For reasons yet unknown, this particular variant is unique in that it is altogether consumed by what can only be described as blind rage, a thirst for combat, unlike any other creature we've encountered. As if the typical there we go. wasn't aggressive enough. Overdrive this serum for us. Seems dangerous even in death. I will be more than happy to dispose of it once I file my report. This boosts a soldier's nervous system, resulting in greater mobility and significant damage resistance for multiple turns. So basically gives you Berserk automatically. Can only be used once in combat and will be removed from the soldier's inventory permanently once activated. So you can only use it once at all. So three days for the Warlock's Disruptor Rifle, that seems like a bargain to me. We get Experimental Armor, we get the Hazmat Vest. Uh, soldiers gain an additional health boost and are completely resistant to any environmental hazards like fire, acid or poison. So that's really good. We still have, yeah, one more thing in the Proving Ground, so we don't need to check that. Our inspiration and the Warlock weapon beneficial. completes automatically as well. So I'm gonna check that out in a second. So we get the Disruptor Rifle. Um, and the Viper King, Viper King Autopsy is also inspired now. Definitely doing that. Although it had been years since I conducted my last autopsy, Fallen. I felt the process returned to me quite naturally. This subject was perhaps less intimidating because of its similarities to varying reptile species found naturally on Earth. Because of extensive cytogenetic modifications to the subject's chromosomes, this could very well be the only male variant in the entire species. Okay. So that's that. And that was even less than a day, apparently, because it it, it uh, completed basically a few hours after that. So Viper King autopsy complete, and Despite we get... an extensive study of Dr. Valen's research report, I have yet to discover how she came to acquire such an impressive understanding of the processes involved in the editing and manipulation of alien genetic material. So we can make a serpent suit. I don't know what that's going to be. The scales of the Viper King are surprisingly lightweight and flexible and should provide substantial resistance and once reinforced. Okay, but that's a proving ground project and I'm still working on something else in between. So, next up, we should probably go with the Archon Autopsy because of the fact that we want to do the Plasma Lance after this. But... The product of an extensive fusion of both 
alien biological material and advanced mechanical support systems, the Archon is an unusually ornate design by alien standards. With an air of authority spurred by its distinctive appearance, I can only assume the aliens intended it to be something of a herald to the other forces. And there we go. So that should prepare us for the inevitable Archon ruler. But I'm going to go into the Shadow Chamber now first. So uh, let's change view the Shadow Chamber project uh, and re do the recovered uh, Advent Stasis Suit project first. And we get 66 supplies, which is fine. And apparently nothing else. There's no problem whatsoever just yet. We haven't gotten a mission in about eight days now. Which is not too uh, out of the ordinary, but uh, might as well move to the intel then. Okay, so alien facility constructed, view that facility. Fair enough. Um, but that mission is locked. That's not actually that much of a problem. We're gonna get one extra bar there, but that's definitely not a problem. That red screen kind of scared me, but it's not a problem at all. And then of course, immediately after that, we get another uh, progress bar. So that's a one, okay, only one. And we get a new guerrilla operation, finally. I was waiting for one. Um, so either 260 supplies with, what the hell? Ah, lost, okay, lost 24 enemies. In New Brazil, which might actually be cool, but I wanna avoid lost. Um, engineer as well with lost. And this last one is a specialist, but Tao seems like a, Hmm, that seems like a, a man, and I don't want men, so I'm gonna go with Lost either way. So we either get an engineer, but we don't need the engineer, so I think we're gonna go for New Brazil. Uh, that gets us, holy crap, a lot of dudes. A lot of uh, heavy machinery as well, which means we need to bring the, the blue screen rounds, but New Brazil is gonna be our next mission. So we have been going for quite some time, so I'm not going to set up the team right now. Um, so next up, we're going to go on Operation Hot Plate, and we need to protect a certain device, apparently. So that means that the enemies are going to come to us, which is a nice change of pace. So we'll see you guys next time in Operation Hot Plate, and I'd like to thank you enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough. Goodbye!